So it's the Tel Madaba Archaeological Project. Um, it's located in Madaba, Jordan, which is in the central part of the country. Um, Madaba is a traditional Tel site, um, which is a common type of site in the Near East, where you have uh, essentially a mound that is a uh, a man-made mound of superimposed layers of occupation. On our site, we have 12 different occupation phases that date probably from the early Bronze Age, so the third millennium BC, until the late 19th century AD. The project was initiated as uh, part of a regional network of projects who were studying the emergence of uh, urbanism and urban institutions in central Jordan. So it kind of grew out of a uh, consortium of projects that began about 45 years or so ago with one particular site and then it's sort of mushroomed. And Madaba sort of grew out of that. One thing that this the Madaba project has now kind of grown, grown into as well is studying the relationship between uh, an urban center like Madaba, which has always been an urban center throughout antiquity in, in, and into present day, uh, and its relationship to the periphery, the countryside. There are a number of smaller satellite towns and villages that rely on Madaba um, throughout antiquity. So from, we can't really say much about the early Bronze Age, but from the Iron Age, so from the 9th century onward. Mostly we get students from the anthropology and the NMC department, but we've had students from drama, film studies, English, who are just interested in doing a field course in an interesting location. And introduction to the region, its people. Um, we live in Madaba and work in Madaba, so they're sort of immersed in the culture, so they get exposed to um, the different types of groups who are living in the region and learning a little bit of the local language, etc. Um, so we don't expect students to have any kind of field experience at all. And that's the way the course is designed. It's designed for students who have no previous field experience. But mostly what they're going to be learning is excavation techniques, all the recording that goes along with that, and then the processing of the finds afterwards. So everything from using large tools to dig with to you know more fine detailed work with trowels and brushes and that sort of thing. Identifying the different types of archaeological material that we find, whether it's bone or shell or pottery or stone, etc. And then what those different items are and being able to then record them properly. And then the other component of the field course is um, it's not really a lab course, but they do, students spend a few hours every day processing the finds, photographing if they're interested in that sort of thing, drawing. Um, we teach the students how to draw both pottery and objects. Of all the artifacts that we collect, what we have the most of is pottery. So the students can learn to identify the different um, time periods, the different styles of pottery, whether it's Iron Age versus Roman versus Byzantine. We found a number of these both in the 2011 and 2010 season. Um, they are small ceramic figurines from the Iron Age, so probably from the 8th century BC, um, that are probably um, images of deities. Which deities, we're not entirely sure. They could be local deities, they could be, um, we believe this one's a fertility figurine because it shows a mother nursing her infant. Also the nature of just the stratigraphy on the site is very complex because we have so many different occupation layers um, which is not unique to the, to the Near East but at least very helpful in when you're dealing with Near Eastern archaeology to understand architectural phasing um, because Madable is a good example of a site that is, has very complex phasing so that would be a good introduction for them as well. We also do um, soil flotation so there's a paleobotanical aspect to it as well. So we try and give them a, a complete picture of what you know archaeological field work entails but the, the recording that we do and the, the detailed excavation that is just required by the site I think gives them a very good introduction to archaeological field work that they can then transfer to, to CRM work in Ontario. The field school is running again this year. Uh, the dates for it are June 1st to July 15th. And um, well, as I said, we'll, well, we'll definitely be working in Madaba and possibly somewhere else, depending on how things go. And um, the Summer Abroad Office is currently accepting applications for the field school. Deadline is February 15th.